Hello, fast love friends. This video is, uh, get that air conditioning off. It is 90 degrees in New York today. Uh, no, the horn is cold. Um, this video is basically uh, just a run through of the fast love piece just to supply some explanation for some of the notation and some of the ideas I have in mind. Um, so, measure one. Uh, first gesture. Uh, so the gesture, first gesture happens over three eighth notes. Uh, the, um, the exhale uh, is meant to get louder. Um, so it grows to a point in which um, it gets to its forte volume where you start adding the key clicks, uh, which is that downward just uh, the downward notation um, with the uh, diamond note heads. The, uh, by definition, the uh, exhale is going to uh, fall away because you, you'll essentially have breathed all of your air out. In order, uh, but what you're looking for is really a crescendo and a peak at the uh, on the end of one. So you've got the the end of one is where you want um, your your volume to be the the loudest. And it's a combination with the inhales and exhales. I like to uh, have a little bit of air coming out the mouthpiece, but some of it going through to kind of capture um, the key clicks as they go down. It's kind of a magic moment where the um, the air moves into the key clicks. Um, so whereas the dynamics look like it's getting louder and should stay loud, the actual effect because of the exhale, the, the natural fade out of the exhale, and then the, the key clicks just being a soft uh, technique anyway, um, the gesture doesn't necessarily sound like the dynamics look. So it's not like I'm looking for something to start really soft and get really loud. It's just a way of uh, using the dynamics to conversely um, to work against the, the gesture in a way um, where you get that effect that I just did. A measure one, beat three. You're basically breathing through the horn at the C sharp level, which means no uh, keys down. Um, and you'll see that notated throughout. But I want you to roll that, um, trim, uh, flutter, uh, don't growl, don't put your voice into it. But make it a, make it a loud flutter. Um, you can choose how much air comes out the mouthpiece level. Uh, for this one, I'm choosing to push it all through the horn since I just had a big exhale come out the mouthpiece level. Um, but, you know, you might want to play with that. Measure three. Uh... Uh, so what I'm looking for there is not a... Um, I'm not looking for you to speak sh ho through the horn. I'm looking for the, uh, the shape of the oral cavity, really, and for that shape, um, and that almost uh, whisperly like speech to be applied to the air. So in um, on the second note, the shh, um, as opposed to sh. So th those aren't spoken but when they're on air. It's really just the the shape of the mouth. Um, and uh, you're obviously coming out the C sharp, which is no keys down, and then the second uh, air sound it's going through the D. So you're going to feel the air come all the way down here and it's going to be a The end of measure uh, three um, you're basically on the C sharp just doing three different mouth sounds or oral cavity shapes um, shooting air through it in a whispery way. So make those uh, Make those as different as possible because it's at the C sharp level. I'm cool, you know. I just have some air come out of the mouthpiece level. Um, have it go through the horn. So s w ha, and then uh, you've got an inhale. You know, a little bit of voice. It's all very whispery, um, and the inhale. Uh, use um, part of it um, on the mouthpiece and then come off of it. And use it as a chance to catch your breath. So basically you're gaining your breath to do the f, which is the next thing. Um, measure four. Uh, 
Uh, so this first multiphonic in the piece, um, it's like if you're following the Weiss book, it's number 22. Uh, it's basically the really, um, really tight second, uh, P flat minus three. It's unstable. It'll move a little bit between each, but um, try to keep that vibration going if you can. Um, and if it moves back and forth, that's cool too. Uh, for a lot of these close diodes, I use my tongue on the reeve, so I actually like the sound of that. If you can make that happen, that'd be great. And I encourage you to do the same and then remove the tongue as you get louder and the air starts coming out. So what basically you're moving to a uh, situation with the multiphonic is getting louder, you're taking your tongue off so it's going to have a, it's going to have more pop and it's also going to become very hard to control at that point. Uh, so you're just going to add a bunch of air and then just get to the end of it. So you come tongue off, push the air through, uh, open your lips a little bit on the mouthpiece to get the air, just let it go. That air out of the mouthpiece um, as your um, sort of beat three and four of, of measure four, that becomes the connection to the exhale. So it, your, the length of that formata is going to be determined by how long that actually lasts. Um, so try to make as long as possible. there so whereas with the square note heads in the air uh, there was no um, there was no actual voice on those it was just a uh, phonetic mouth uh, shape and here you're you're actually dealing with the vocal cords so like <coughs> it's all that uh, the fry um, is indicated about that doing it on an inhale is kind of unusual yeah I'm basically alternating inhaling and exhaling. Like, uh, measure seven, um, beat uh, four. All right, so I guess it starts on the end of three. We're dealing with air into the multiphonic um, uh, tremolo. Uh, so what you're doing there is the on the C sharp, and um, the first note of that tri uh, tremolo, multiphonic tremolo, is a slap. So, and it should sound kind of like an F sharp. And then when you drop down uh, your fourth finger, you should hear the you should hear the multiphonic come out. So. Obviously, you'll practice them and they'll be better than I'm doing right now. But so um, that comes back again in measure nine. <laughs> measure nine. <laughs> um, we've got this sort of half uh, half air, half pitch moving up. That should be self-explanatory, but it's basically. <laughs> Measure 12, um, the gesture on B3. So, so that chair is correct. Um, uh, so, yeah, we're rolling it with this now because that's what we got. Um, Alright, so measure 12, beat 4. Uh, and that's basically a modded uh, multiphonic number 4 if you're looking at the Vice book. The sound you're going to get is like a. That's a C. So start with 2, 3, 5, and C down, low C down. That's your first note. The second note is kind of like an F sharp, but. On its unstable F sharp. Uh, so basically, what you're doing is you're starting with two, three, five, and C down, and popping down one. And then the third one is to pop down four. 
So you eventually get to. And then that same thing comes back three times. 14. Um, so that gesture is a slap followed by a on C sharp, just the but not the not the ha, the um, then an inhale, growled inhale, and what that is, oh no, sorry, not growled inhale, fluttered inhale, um, followed by quintuplet where you're breathing in and out really fast. And I would encourage part of that to go off the mouthpiece. And then beats three and four to be on the mouthpiece on C sharp, uh, fluttered, getting louder and softer. Uh, in measure 15, you've got the multiphonic trill on uh, multiphonic number 22. Uh, which is B flat minus three. Uh, so that's more an effect among, um, you know, the, the unstableness of the actual multiphonic In fact, dyad will come in and out. Measure 16 right before. Um, that's B flat without C, so you're getting kind of a D. Nope. All those gestures come back in B. Uh, that is just, you know, all those um, in that order if you want, not in that order, use them, uh, combine them, make them. Um, We'll pull together, um, but this section is just to reference the earlier material and to have it collide with the percussion in um, non-measured ways. So, uh, you can do it fast, you can do it space. So all those types of things, um, just make it happen. Uh, so right in C, you've got your uh, multiphonic crazy with um, uh, sort of a trill. Uh, Alternating trill between um, one and four, but this trill is measured, so it's not a trill. Um, uh, you can figure out that rhythm um, based on the fingerings that I gave you. In Uh, just play around with that multiphonic using the tongue, using dynamics, um, you know, slight release of pressure on some of the fingers, like leak, uh, leak some air out to create um, different pitches, um, but it's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and that is matching with the Super Bowl um, in the percussion, which is going to be a very similar sound world, so they're going to move in and out of each other there. 24, 25. Um, that gesture, it's a... It's like um, fingering is, uh, for the multiphonic, is uh, essentially C sharp minus uh, 5, or E. We're taking off the first finger, Slapping it and then gradually adding the first finger. Um, so you get an actual bend up of all the pitches. That's a pretty cool effect. Uh, so those are the pitches you should be getting. Um, they aren't going to be the same as the Vice Book because I modified it. Uh, measure 29, we've got. Uh, multiphonic number 44 essentially, which is a, like a low C minus 1 and 4, and then you're gradually adding them. So, here's measure 29. Alright, measure 31. Uh, it's multiphonic 51, which is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C1, B flat. 
and uh, start begins with um, one and four off. So you really only have down two, three, five, six, C one B flat. Wants to bounce around. So you add the one and then you add the four. Marked as 31. Now it's actually 51. It's been corrected. So there you go. Multiphonic 44 um, at measure 38. 2, 3, uh, 5, 6, C. Uh, we're singing an A. Yeah, yeah, so for 44, you're basically uh, 2, 3, 5, 6, C, and then you're using your thumb to trill C, C, probably using your thumb, I have to. And then I add the voice. Um, the idea here is that uh, the voice is becoming, um, it's supposed to sound like a motor. TC and it uh, even accentuates that motor effect. <laughs> then we've got 31 later. Um, and that's a big uh, vocal blast right through the horn.
just playing around with 50, multiplying 52 by adding keys. <laughs>